Yo, what is up Smash players? This is my follow-up wave bounce video to show you how to wave bounce side B, up B, down B, and make it dummy easy. All you need to do is have a shoulder button set to special and use the right stick to B reverse. Um, so if you can B reverse normally with B in the left stick 99% consistently, then you will be able to B reverse with the shoulder button and C stick 99.9% .9 consistently. And once you can do that, you can wave bounce 99.9% .9 consistently. No other method will give you that level of consistency. Um, just practice uh, with the shoulder button, doing this, you know, uh, shoulder button special, and then hitting back on the right stick. Just practice those B reverses for 10 minutes a day, three for three days, and then you'll have mastered it, and then you'll have mastered uh, wave bouncing. So here's how to uh, wave bounce side B to start. Now this is by far the easiest wave bounce because it's the exact same input, exact same input as a side B. So if anyone ever brags they could wave bounce side B, um, that's a scrub alert right there because they're just saying they could be reverse side B. Though admittedly it's a bit trickier and I'll explain why. Um, so here a regular B reverse is, you know, I'm jump to the right and then I side B to the right, but then immediately after I, f I flick back, okay? so. You know, you side B one way, flick back the other way. So the wave bounce side B is you're jumping right, but instead of starting with a side B right, you start with a side B left. Start with a side B left, um, and then you flick right, okay? So you side B to the left, and then flick right. Now it's a bit tricky because since I'm holding right because I'm jumping right, I'm going right, then left, then right. So we kind of want to avoid uh, going uh, back and forth. So that's why it can be a bit tricky, but like, you know, there, uh, I'm doing that with the left stick. So it's, it's not a hard wave bounce, but it does make it dummy easy. And we like being dummy easy. So what we do is you jump right, you side B left using the shoulder button in left stick, and then you reverse it with the right stick. So the right stick, the R for right stands for reverse. Okay. They named it the C stick, but they should have named it the R stick. Okay. So what you do is you side B left, and then you just flick right. So if you if you've mastered the shoulder button and the right stick, um, it's the exact same thing. But you're just holding instead of a neutral B, you know, you do side B. So I do side B left, and then I just flick it right. So I'll jump right, side B left, flick right with the right stick. So that way, I jump right, and then I flick left with the left stick, and then I can keep the left stick there, and I don't need to flick back and forth. Okay, so uh, pretty easy. Um, pretty key for like young link and stuff um yeah so let me go into uh down b and up b and this is a, a bit trickier it's definitely you know a harder way bounce than side b because side b is the easiest but it's um it's easier than neutral b neutral b is by far the hardest and um however with this technique all of them are pretty easy now to do a way bounce um you know, down B or up B, you know, it's a turnaround plus a B reverse. And I should mention, uh, just for side B, by the way, just get comfortable side being <laughs> uh, using the shoulder button set to special. Um, though that shouldn't be hard because you just need to hold the direction and then hit your special button. Okay? So to do a turnaround down B and then B reverse it, well, first a turnaround down B is what? Uh, you have to hold diagonal back and hit down and hit B. Okay, that's a turnaround down B. Now it's a turnaround up B, diagonal up, and hit B. Okay, so then, how do you B reverse it? Well, you just flick the opposite direction. So what you do is you down B with the special shoulder button and down back, and then immediately after, you reverse it with the C stick, aka the reverse stick, by just flicking the opposite direction. So you could even practice this, you know, uh, on stage as DK. So if you go into training mode, here's how to master wave bouncing as any character. Just pick DK, hold down, and then just, you know, roll back to the notch. And if you have notches on your controller, you know, up B and down B wave bounces will be dummy, dummy easy. Um, so you just, right now I'm holding down back, and then I hit the special button for on my shoulder, and then I flick forward, okay? So I'm wave bouncing on the ground right now. So you see how DK, like, I turn, but then I B reverse it, right? So I hit the um, the shoulder button special, then right after I'm hitting forward on the C stick. So I'm hold right. I'm literally just holding down back on the left stick, and then I hit the shoulder button, and then I hit forward on the right stick. Okay. So in the air, it'll look like this. 
And this definitely leads to all kinds of cool stuff because, um, you know, DK Will does it uh, quite a bit, but he probably doesn't have it this level of consistency. Um, it just lets you space this uh, down B. It's pretty uh, OP. And then for up up B, you know, I can't just hold back down uh, up and back on the ground because I'll I'll turn around. So I have uh, this you have to practice in the air. Um, but what you do is just hold up and back, and then you hit the special button, and then immediately reverse it. So it's all pretty easy. Now, no one really does this as DK, but it's actually busted because... Oh my god, okay? Because it totally uh, reverses your momentum. So I could uh, jump back, jump back, back air, and then immediately swing forward. Um, so, yeah, totally reverse uh, momentum. So... It's pretty uh, OP as, as DK. He by far is the best up B and down B wave mounts is um, combined. Some people have a good down B, some people have a good up B. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know. So if you have any questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to hit that DK thumbs up, spank that subscribe button, have a swell evening, and I'll see you next time.